for question seven, we have to find the fundamental period of a trig equation. Now for y equal to a sine bx, the period is found by dividing two pi, which is the period of sine x, the parent function, divided by the absolute value of b, the coefficient of x. So the x term in our equation because it has a whole bunch of transformation is played by x minus one. And we have to divide two pi by pi over four to get the period. So it's really two pi multiplied by the reciprocal. We cancel pi, so it's two times four, which is eight. Well, what did we do? We certainly may not understand what we did. So we're gonna take a second look at the function. Remember, all these functions with transformation are a variation of the parent function, y is equal to sine x. So let's see what happened with y equal to sine x. When we look at the curve, we have a full curve from zero to two pi, a full sine curve, okay? And sine is the snake. So it's pi over two, three pi over two. Those are the markers and zero, it starts at zero. So basically, the angle x equals zero is the start and the end is x equal to two pi. Interesting. So now look at what we have. Pi over four is the coefficient of the variable and x minus one supposedly is the expression that represent the angle. So we're going to set it up equal to zero to start. Four times zero is zero. So pi times x minus one is equal to zero. Therefore, x minus one is equal to zero divided by pi, which is zero. So basically it starts at x minus one equal to zero, which is x equal to one. Pi over four times x minus one is equal to two pi. That's where it ends. Uh, pi times x minus one is equal to four times two pi, which is eight pi. We're going to divide by uh, pi and x minus one is equal to, it ends at x minus one equal to eight, which is x equal to nine. So nine minus one will be eight, or to make it easier, eight minus zero is just eight. So the period is equal to eight. So the correct answer is D in David. So we, we done. Bye.